Have you seen how scared people get of the book of Revelation? Huh? Like people are scared to read the book of Revelation. Because they think it's got devils and antichrists and things in there. Let me just help you with the book of Revelation. While we go there. The book of Revelation, point one, is not the book of Revelations. Have you ever heard people say, let's go to Revelations 10 verse so and so? Happens in South Africa. I don't know, but yeah. But it's not Revelations because it's Revelation. And it's one revelation. Alright, so when you get that, it's revelation. So it's not many revelations. So it's not a revelation of the Antichrist or the mark of the beast or whatever. It's, it says it in verse 1. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay, so if you can see Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation, you're seeing what you should be seeing. If you are seeing devils, antichrist, then you are missing the point. Okay, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. It's also interesting because in, in the other translations, the book of Revelation is actually called the Apocalypse. Okay, and which is, which is why um, the world has connected the word apocalypse with destruction and Armageddon and, you know. But then if you say the apocalypse of Jesus Christ, then you realize it's, you're saying it's the destruction of Jesus Christ. The apocalypse just means revealing. So it's the revealing of Jesus. Okay, so we see Jesus. Amen. It's good news. It makes you feel better, right? You can read the book of Revelation. The Bible says, blessed is he who reads it, okay? So read it. 